Hey everyone, Zion here again. I hope you got the chance to watch our recent video on Power Tools for Tableau Deployment. If you've been too busy to check it out, I understand. After you watch this though, head over to powertoolsfortableau.com and take a look at the blog section. It will be right there at the top. Our focus for this video is going to be the most used feature in our entire suite of tools, the Data Source Audit tool, which can be found in our Power Tools desktop application. It's been around for about three years now. Hundreds of organizations use this tool to make workbooks ready for the deployment process on Tableau Server. If you're watching this video right now and you're a site admin, or just responsible for the quality and performance of lots of Tableau workbooks, you'll likely spend hours with each production release trying to make sure that workbooks are using the right data and meeting performance standards. This is where Data Source Audit enters the picture. I'll go ahead and select the tool from this home screen. Again, we're in Power Tools Desktop. My next step is to choose workbooks from Tableau Server or on my local machine. After I click the Next button, the audit will begin to run behind the scenes. The Data Source Audit tool is scanning all of the XML in these files, and it's finding out which data sources are being used and where they're being used. So you can be 100% confident that you're using the right data sources in the right way which will of course result in the highest quality workbooks that have the best possible performance. Great, our audit is complete. So let's check out the results. Our initial screen lists out all of the data sources that are being used in these workbooks. You can immediately make sure you're using the right data sources. This may also come in handy when you're wanting to dig into some specifics. For instance, I can see all of my calculated fields here. If I select this one, I'll be able to get a quick glimpse at all the worksheets and calculations that are depending on this calculated field. But the most popular part of the Data Source Audit tool are these exports down here at the bottom of the screen. Since we all know and love Tableau, it's the most common choice among site admins that use this tool but you can also send to Excel or PDF format if that's what you prefer. We'll go ahead and choose the Tableau export. The application is now taking our audit data and packaging that up into a new data extract in Tableau workbook. Many of our clients will save a copy of this workbook prior to moving everything over into their production environment on Tableau server. Yep. All right. It looks like our Tableau workbook is ready to go. What you're looking at now is a dashboard that has been created from the audit data. This is telling me that I scanned all of these workbooks, and those workbooks are depending on all of these data sources. The top right shows me which types of data sources are being used. So it could be Excel files, data extracts, SQL Server, Oracle, Maybe you're trying to reduce the number of extracts on server. You could start to narrow down how these are being used, or maybe you want to filter to the specific fields to only see the calculated fields and understand whether it was a user-derived calculated field or whether it was something that our BI group put together. By understanding that, I can maybe add that calculated field to a hosted data source so others can use it as well. Or on the other hand, we could determine the calculation is useless or wrong, and we may need to talk with the workbook author about ways to make improvements. Other observations from this dashboard may include, wow, this data source isn't used at all, or these tables aren't being used. Let's remove these from our cluster. The great thing is you can download a free trial of this tool and start generating data source reports today. Just head over to powertoolsfortableau.com. You'll find the desktop section here in the tools menu. Fill out this quick form, and within a few minutes, you'll be generating these left and right. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the next video.